Hey, hey, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Shanae, and today I'm going to share with you my foolproof cream cheese frosting. Ultra smooth and creamy, light and fluffy, this cream cheese frosting is thick enough to pipe on cupcakes. And my recipe calls for way less sugar than most recipes, and you're going to love it. At the end of this video, I'm also going to share with you my secret tip how to fix runny frosting, so make sure to watch it till the end. So for the basic cream cheese frosting recipe, you need cream cheese. Make sure to choose full fat, regular brick style cream cheese that is not whipped or flavored for proper consistency. And then we'll need butter, powdered sugar, a little bit salt and vanilla extract. Place the cream cheese and butter into a mixing bowl. Make sure to bring your cream cheese and butter to room temperature before whipping so you get nice and smooth consistency. If you use too cold cream cheese, you will get lumpy cream cheese frosting. We're going to whip it on medium high speed for about a minute or so until nice and fluffy. Halfway, make sure to scrape the sides of the bowl so that the mixture is evenly mixed. Let's take a look. Look how nice and fluffy the mixture is. Now let's scrape it down. And then we'll add two cups of powdered sugar. And starting with a low speed, we'll mix it until the sugar is incorporated. And then we will increase the speed to medium high to whip it about three minutes until it's nice and fluffy. If you started the speed at high, all your powdered sugar will fly out of it. But I'm sure it will fly out a little bit anyway, but minimize the risk. Um, just start with it on low speed. Most of the sugar is incorporated and I'm going to increase the speed now to medium high. And then we'll put for about three minutes. It's almost there, so we'll add a pinch of salt. I would say about uh, one eighth of a teaspoon. The salt balances out the sweetness and rounds up the flavor perfectly. Salt only makes the desserts better, so don't be afraid to add it. And now we'll add a little bit vanilla extract. And whip it just until it's incorporated. Okay, let's take a look. My goodness, look at this, how silky, smooth, the frosting is so fluffy too. I love the tangy rich flavor of this frosting. So good, pairs perfectly with red velvet cupcakes and cakes and of course carrot cake and any other cake you desire. I use it often in different cake fillings and whatnot. Oh, it's so good. And now I'm going to show you the consistency, how it pipes. See how perfect consistency it is. Cream cheese frosting has a beautiful, soft, pipeable consistency. Of course, it's not as stable as buttercream, but as you can see, you can decorate cupcakes beautifully with this cream cheese frosting. I especially like cream cheese frosting for naked style cakes. So if you're making naked style cake, like my raspberry layer cake, it's perfect. Now let's talk about the most common issue when it comes to cream cheese frosting. A lot of people ask how to fix runny cream cheese frosting. Adding more powdered sugar doesn't help when you have a runny cream cheese frosting. The reason your cream cheese frosting is runny is because of the excess moisture. What happens when you add sugar into water? It dissolves, right? It, gets, it doesn't get firmed up. So unless you add like ridiculous amount of sugar, it won't help you with them um, firming up the consistency. Putting it in the fridge also won't help because again, the frosting is running because of the excess moisture and water doesn't harden in the cold temperature. Instead, here's my secret. 
add up to half a cup of cornstarch into the runny frosting. That way, cornstarch absorbs excess moisture without altering the flavor. And then you will have perfectly thick and nice frosting. In order to prevent the runny cream cheese frosting to begin with, make sure to use the brick style block of plain cream cheese instead of whipped ones or flavored ones in a tub. And another thing is avoid adding too much wet ingredients like jams and jellies because they add moisture to your frosting and makes it liquid. And also be mindful of adding too much like extracts and whatnot. Instead, try drier flavorings like lemon zest, orange zest, freeze-dried powdered fruits, for example, also add amazing flavor. You can also add cocoa powder. You can add whatever ingredients you want to this basic recipe. If you need sturdier cream cheese frosting, you can also increase the butter ratio. Instead of quarter cup of butter, you can increase it up to a cup and a half so that it's more like cream cheese buttercream you know that way you will have a lot sturdier frosting i hope this video was helpful and you learned something new if you have any questions or feedback please leave a comment below i love hearing from you and until next time bye